10% of European babies are conceived on an IKEA bed, so be sure to follow the instructions. Put peg A into slot B and then screw until the nuts tighten. <laughs> Salad drawers in fridges contain 8,000 bacteria per square centimetre. And for viewers in Scotland, the salad drawer is the bit at the bottom of the fridge where you keep your emergency lager. <laughs> and 20% of people admit to preparing a meal just to photograph it for social media. It sounds weird, but to be honest, I'm like that with my erections. <laughs> right, let's get started. Yeah. Oh, oh, too late. Rob, um, Storm Angus. That's the first one of the year. They Do you know what Angus. I would have called it? Winter. It <laughs> 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 is, isn't it? I do like the way, the way they've all got such weird names. Like, the next one is going to be Barbara, apparently, and then apparently, there's a Doris. They all sort of sound like menopausal dinner lady. <laughs> <laughs> I do think, like, it must be good for insurance firms, isn't it? Because a lot of, I imagine, quite butch men wouldn't want to phone up their insurance company and be like, oh, you, you've got to give me a new shed. Barbara's just destroyed it. <laughs> <laughs> And that was Tom Allen's impression of a butch man. <laughs> I don't get to meet many of them. <laughs> it's Angus, then it's going to be Barbara's the next one, then Connor, Doris, Ewan, Fleur, Gabriel, Holly. I, I mean, they just... They're quite posh, aren't they? They're all, like, <laughs> middle-class white names. Where's, like, Storm Shaniqua? <laughs> <laughs> But Fogbo's. Oh, Fogbo was incredible, oh, wasn't it? Because that was like the best, worst thing to come out of the Storm yeah. Angus, wasn't it? Because that was what everyone was saying. Oh, wow, look at this amazing Fogbo. It is a colourless rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> As if the world isn't <laughs> shit enough. <laughs> well, I think it's Trump's new world, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> He's gone, there's, there's a rainbow, but I don't like gays. <laughs> <laughs> when is it a storm? When does it go from windy to a storm? Is it when the umbrella goes inside out? <laughs> How do they measure the wind speed? Do they just sort of drive alongside it in their car? Or... <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> wait until it's the fine when they stick their head out. <laughs> <laughs> if they do by the tongue of a dog, or blah, 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 blah. <laughs> We thought we had it bad, but America obviously much worse. Take a look at this, uh, this report from San Diego. We're live here at Fashion Valley Mall. This is a parking lot that is notorious for flooding. You look at all of this water. This car is submerged, and I am knee-deep in water. But we got gut reaction from one driver who had his car stuck in this. We really feel for him this morning. There was a point in America when they started talking about storms. I think one senator said that they were a punishment from God uh, for gay marriage, I think. Oh, yeah. Or as I like to call it, garage. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I do think it's a bit naive to think that God's punishment would be a load of storms, because then you, of course, have a load of firemen coming after you, and a lot of gay men like them. <laughs> But I do find in the UK we haven't had that sort of problem. I mean, if there's ever a storm, all you tend to see on the news is always some old woman in a dinghy. <laughs> and uh, I think maybe that is God's punishment. The thing, the thing that annoys me when there's flooding is always yes. the guy in the high street in a canoe. On o every bit of news always Who has a canoe in their garage? I mean, gay marriage. <laughs> <laughs> What do they always use? They always use sandbags. I don't. I, I it don't stops the water. Well, it doesn't, does it? Have you seen a beach? I want to have a look and see if Storm Angus is up there. Yeah. Yes, it's Storm Angus. So those were the nation's most popular talking points. But in other news, Donald Trump has said this week that he's as liberal and tolerant as the next man. Unfortunately, the man he was standing next to was Nigel Farage. <laughs> Trump has called for Nigel Farage to be Britain's ambassador to America. So he like about Farage, but he doesn't care what people think about him. Prick. <laughs>